Hierophant. I guess. Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. This has to be Lady in the Woods. My poor boy. Yeah, it, it is her. You see what they did to us? Six, Six years, years ago. I get sparked. No. <laughs> What have they done? Maybe the family destroyed the Hackett's quarry and then they tried to take it away. Oh, no thanks for that blow. Are you controlling the view? No. It's a dog boy. Did she have a pentagram as a necklace? Yeah, I think so. Silas, my boy! Oh. Ah. Was Silas the white wolf? For old lady, she she dodged. Nobody else here to take no one through the door. Was it because the, the werewolf was out there? Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! Oh! Silas! Silas is the werewolf. Oh no, that was... What? Silas is the werewolf. Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas. So we gotta find that one? We missed that one. No. Oh. Only one then. No, no, no. My we only missed boy. one. You see what they did to us? Explain. They hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little Silas. My little mm -hmm. white wolf. You must be protected. You must not. Follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how All I that no tears. Mmm. She said, remember I felt you. <laughs> how much I've done for you. Mmm. <laughs> nah. She pulled the I helped you card. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, still happens. Oh, chapter my. 10. Bricks and mortar. Second to last chapter. 
Well, this is the last chapter, and then the epilogue. The table, mm -hmm. help me. In my is the love. epilogue like a chapter chapter? Or it's just like the aftermath? It might be insight to the next game that they wanna. I don't know. Epilogue is the ending. Uh, epilogue is the ending, but it might, okay. I don't know. I, I yeah. feel like I should give some insight. It can't get much worse than it already is, right? In production. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Okay, so we're here. How do you figure? Wait, this is the lodge, right? Yep. And we're in the basement. And the lodge and the basement are well, here. You're in the basement. Abby's uh, in the. Yeah. Been Emma's in the basement. Abby's in the office. room. In the office. Yeah. Hypothermia? No. All right. Well, we're good now. Night's not over. Just know whatever sounds you hear, it might be Abby. So. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Exploring. So the cards any help now or no? We done looking for cards? There's still more terrors. Um, there's yeah, there's still more. There shouldn't be more. I just want to find the world. Oh, you remember that locker room from the beginning? From the very beginning where Marcus found? Uh yeah. The locker. Go back go into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Go back where you were. Turn that way, left. That's oh wait, no, no, no. There's... Yeah, it's right there. It's right, there. It's right to the left. Yeah, 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 in there. And then that room on the very yeah. I want to see if there's anything in there. It looks oh. like it's open now. Oh, it's Abby's bag. Yeah. There's nothing in it. Nothing's in it. Wait, nothing's in it? Oh, Nick is in here. You can't, you can't even open it. That's because what I'm assuming, because he, he would go to Abby, uh, that's Abby, right? Abby's bag. Why would he? Because he's... I mean, we like, shot him and he left, we don't know where he is. And why would he, why would he go and lock himself in the room as the werewolf? Well, I don't know. And this wasn't the building that he was in. Yeah, that's There might true. be a card still somewhere. It's so dark, you can't see anything in here. Yeah. This is that camera angle cheese that they had me on. I just couldn't see the card that I missed. Just can't see nothing but our clues. I cannot believe what happened inside of that room. <laughs> Can you come close to this table and see? Nothing. Jeez. I just want to point out that all of this is Marcus's fault. No. I was going to point that at the end of the game, but I didn't want to see anything too soon. <laughs> all of what is, is whose fault? Jacob's fault. Your fault. Jacob's fault. The whole reason why we're still here. Oh. We got ourselves in this werewolf Yeah, place. but you told me. So, Joking it's both of our faults. You asked. So, well, good. You know you know the kind of personality I have, so don't tell me stuff like that. I told you, but you to put it into action. Yeah, but you know the kind of guy I am, so don't tell me. I gave you a temptation, you gave in to it, that's not my fault. So, <laughs> who, who, who told you to tell me? Actions speak louder than words, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that I am completely innocent. I did not deserve anything that came to me. Hey, y'all not about to be like that on my character, bro. <laughs> no. I didn't make the decision to tell me. If you hadn't told me anything, none of this would have happened. We would have been off by now, but you had to say something. If anything, Jacob got karma. <laughs> Put us in hold of danger over a girl that's like karma. Yeah. That's, that's how you... Oh, that's how I see it. That's how you flip it for... Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> that's you put us, crazy. You put the whole entire that's group wild. in danger over a girl yeah, that wasn't even feeling like that. Don't tell me that then. <laughs> don't tell me that then. Don't do it then. 
It's not my fault I did it. I'm the, that's the kind of guy. Yes. You know, you you know I'm a jokester. You act you know I'm a jokester. 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 You yeah, but he's going up the stairs. He went up the stairs. I, I can't. First person shooter? <laughs> I, sh there we go. Oh, oh okay. I there we go. Well, okay, finally. I don't know why that was so hard. I guess, yeah. <laughs> this dude. Oh, uh, you should probably go behind there. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait, large overbearing, this regal so oil painting of Hackett, kind of the place of what should we call it? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. I got a gun on me. What about that back room that you passed though? I'll, I'll go back. I just saw the picture. I automatically caught my attention as to why I went here, but the first one it said like behind me. Uh, is this his lodge? I mean, his office? No. Mm -hmm. A lot of colored paper. Yeah. It looks like a classroom. R.I.P. Ian. We hardly knew you. Poor Ian. You. Some camp mascot to kick I guess that, that's what it is called, you. Shine side. Yeah. Memorial to deceased camp mascot Ian. From the looks of a drawing, Ian was a sheep. Though nobody got to meet him this year. Sounds about right. That was Ian in the basement. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Oh, no. Bummer. So why does Ian play a role in all this? Hey, can I go this way and sleep around or no? Oh, there's downstairs too. Check the interior downstairs and there's like nothing down there. No, like apparently it leads somewhere else because he was standing by the downstairs, uh, by the stairs and then not that down. Is there a secret room behind that thing? There's a glowing carpet and it, you know, the A is from right behind me. There's another staircase. Oh boy. The room right here. This night is about to get interesting. Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like, Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Mm. No, Mr. H is dead. You do know that. Mr. H is dead. It said Laura and Chris kill each other. 
No, Lauren Travis. Lauren uh, Travis, yeah. Yeah, Travis isn't Mr. H. Oh, yeah, Mr. H is not that. I forgot who it said. High Priestess. High Priestess. Mm. She wants you to save her son, that's why she's guiding you. And our son's about to die, ain't it? Do y'all have it in you to kill her son, guys? Mm, we'll see. Mm. We'll deal with it when that uh, problem comes. You're gonna cross the bridge when you reach it? I'm still hung up on my decision with Ryan. Like, oh. would, it, would, <laughs> would that outcome happen? Had I shot sooner before she jumped, like celebrated at me? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. There has to be a way that you could have gotten out of there, and probably that was it. There was a staircase I was leading down. That was the, the oh, way we came back up. in the day. Okay. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to no. lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. He doesn't know the song. Two months and you never learn the words. <sighs> This is the longest night I've ever been through. It's getting clearer, it looks like. Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh, oh they're coming boy. through the chimney. With the fire in place. You gotta light the fire what for her. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! Oh, we're safer in here and it's nearly... We're morning. in the secret room. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it definitely got brighter. What the? This is. Y'all gotta don't breathe. I mm, play your game. I'm waiting. Yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm thinking the same thing. I'm thinking the same thing. Guarantee I'm you late. that's me. Guarantee you that's me. Okay, we can move now. It's, it clearly sees us. Ah! Yo! Get back. I'm not making the same mistake. Right? Okay, now run. Go! At least I know the bullet slowed down. It might not kill it. You know, it's not a silver one. Go! <laughs> You for real. This man broke two bricks. Why can't he break two wood? <laughs> for real. Give him some time. What the fuck was that? It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? <laughs> The only thing upstairs is just me. Hmm. I can climb on the roof, right? And I'm just, it's not beamed? You got it, you got it, girl, you got it. Should have closed the window, I'm gonna slide down. I guess. I think all you're thinking about is escape. Please move faster. Oh, this is actually kind of a smart idea. Can you lock that back down, please? Yo, bro, oh my gosh, how the game sits it's like that so fast. Darker. 
Yep, yep. Good decision. Good decision. Good decision. Oh my god. Good decision. Good decision. Good decision. Good decision, bro. Good decision. Lock the door. Oh my god. Dylan, you fall in. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, in the same place. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> It'd be funny if Dylan. Oh, here, Dylan. Just move. <laughs> And they open the door. Okay, it might be. Okay, I didn't want to break the immersion, but uh, where is it? I think y'all are y'all are with us. Mm. Wait, wait, is it is it the, the, the ladder wrong? Something with Abby? Yeah. Mm. Let me see. Okay. It said the uh, Abby broke the wrong. In the kitchen. Really? No. I mean, at least arm yourself with something. Find a knife. At least get under. I don't understand how he does not see me. That will. Yes. Remember the last time you, you raised up when it was. Scratched her pants. No, 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 please, Dylan. Dylan, help me. <laughs> please, Dylan, do something. Bro, Dylan, Dylan's watching. Dylan's watching. Please. Dylan is watching. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Just like that. Okay. Oh my god. Bro! So both my characters died because of Ethan's decision. I want you to understand that. No. I would have lived if it wasn't for that. I'm, I'm just saying. Which means I still have a 100% survivability rate. I still have a 100% survivability rate. You still have Nick? You got Nick though. I don't even need to. <laughs> 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 Dylan should have ran when I was getting. <laughs> Dylan should have done something. Then I sat there on the exactly. floor like, <laughs> at least run or do something. Do just stand there and look at me. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. Okay. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. 
So Marcus's two characters got to live, yeah. We could we could replay this and see if we can all survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should. One of your characters survived. He's just not. Well, he is. He should be human by now. Just that uh, he's werewolf. Who, Nick? Yeah, Nick. Yeah. He never died. Nick. He not. just d dipped and we never saw him again. Yeah, we never saw him again, true. I think that might have been Nick that was attacking y'all. It looked. Uh, I can't say it looked like Nick, but. It looked like it has Nick's lanky. Ryan was killed the by camp Wolf leader. Chris, the camp leader he wants to look, look up to. to. Lord, here, deceased. Laura and Travis reach a bloody end at each other's hands. Yes. So that wasn't even my fault, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Laura and Travis reach a long and bloody end at each other's hands, yep. And an injured. uninjured Bobby was able to fend off an attack with Chris's brother, brother in Wolf Wolf Farm. Yeah, he just got knocked out. Thanks to Bobby fending off Werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Nice. Damn. Yeah, Corey. Laura shot <laughs> for the truck for the gun. The gun. See, the old lady didn't even do nothing to you. <laughs> Where old Nick <laughs> was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Oh, oh, you killed yourself! Oh, oh, yeah. Damn! Yo, that's a twist! That's a whole twist! Jacob was finished on my right. Yeah, we know that. Damn! So Ryan the Ryan at the Hackett's house, Chris must not face the consequence of his rampage. Face the consequence of his rampage. Oh. And, and the game is safely of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. room. And Emma as well. Yeah. I'm sorry that I can see it Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Caitlin. The kitchen is slaughtered just before sunrise. Just before sunrise, bro. Slaughtered was just before morning. So it's about a full moon, Caleb to have return to his human form. Or Caleb return, okay. Damn. I didn't kill myself, you killed me. Because you could have stopped me from shooting. <laughs> As the sun rises, the wolf, white wolf, slings back into the safe to the woods, waiting for the full moon to come again. Nah, nah, we need, nah, we need, we need to replay this and get this wolf. <laughs> No, nah, dead serious. No, we need to replay this, guys. I'm willing to replay it. Yeah, same. I, I, this is stupid. Same. No, <laughs> <laughs> Marcus survived. Right? The only one to survive. Hey. <laughs> this doesn't even count. Just, bro, delete every single video you know. <laughs> Yo, Yo go hey. go oh, it. It. It's is so dumb. <laughs> All my characters died. Not by what I did. <laughs> <but I'm laughs> How is that fair? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. Hey. <laughs> so look, after surviving every one of the games we play, <laughs> every card the Cory Hacker will tell you. Hey. <laughs> the, po the podcast is still going on, Cory. Oh my gosh. No way, way, way. Okay, so. I hope you've got had it. Corey's gone. Anton, yeah. I'm about to blow <laughs> mine. Well, the bright side is can watch his play. Responsible to ensure those things which those things which mean the most to you. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Yeah, sure. Anyway, it's still playing, bro. It's still playing. It's still playing. Listening to the podcast. The podcast. There have been some yeah. Some information. some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. 
You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see... <laughs> that, that, that like a, get to the story, jeez. No woman you're talking about. I mean, I know. Hmm? No, no, no old woman you're talking about was a Lynch Shay. Yeah. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking Bruh. key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes, of course. That's, a... that is that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate, yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Bizarre yet bona fide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, oh. this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Wrote to her grandma, reading a theory. 
All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Clout. Okay, mm. here we go. Gammy, how long are we going to drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love. Oh, so they started the fire. XO, XO. Oh. That took a turn. Yes. That's Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. So Nintendo hiding and stuff. <laughs> right. Empty vial. I'll be out for sure. Wouldn't now to me, empty <laughs> implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. That's a vial we found around the tree. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. <laughs> okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors. I'm a mouth oh. Downloaded from her phone. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Is that real? Back in this the is what yeah. we're here to discuss. It looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre. Yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else, too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle! I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Mm. Is that what we found in the cave? Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh so to speak no just the photo whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence oh convenient that we can't see the real deal huh? come on man just saying okay you know what it's weird i'll give you that oh my god i just said it was weird don't make a big deal out of it oh my god i've done it you haven't done anything i said it was weird i've done it i've turned you your I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. 
I don't know, whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? <laughs> we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Sure, we can speculate, but we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Park. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just <laughs> launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Evidence that Agus Court mystery shows that events may be triggered by the appearance of dangerous <coughs> unidentified animals in the forest. North Kiwi Gazette. <sighs> I don't think that's it. Mm -hmm. your, your character died first, but your last two survived. I survived. And it was the only the sole survivors too. I'm saying that's interesting. That's crazy though. How the whole thing unfolded. So Corey got they kind of protect Abby. Yeah. And then turned and then. Later killed his other character, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> or Laura killed him. I Laura didn't killed kill him. anyone. No, I didn't Laura, kill Laura anyone. killed him. You killed him. Uh, Laura killed Travis. Exactly. And Ethan could have stopped that. No, but, oh, if it shot earlier. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I didn't kill any of my characters. I know that. She could have. She could have. Matrix. She could have. Matrix. My bullet. I saved you. I saved you. I saved you. And, and then you killed me. <laughs> Like I was even courting, I'm pretty sure. So Lori <laughs> think Nick. Laura off Nick. <laughs> Yo! That is crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. That was wild, bro. Well no, we're done with this, we can finish 3D World. But tomorrow or sometime later this week. Yeah. Nah. So we're not gonna replay this. We can. Yeah, we can. But hold on, is this game on on the PS2? It should yeah. be right. Yeah. You know what? Maybe maybe we can get it and then let um and this this Saturday night we can have the parents play. No, no, it's no, no. So we need to replay it with the three of us and then let them play. <laughs> I'm not trying to lose my characters again. Just we can just bring the Xbox. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could we, we could just take it up. So you want to replay it first and then let them play? Yes. Why though? I'm <laughs> Because I'm not trying to lose again. <laughs> we're gonna lose when we're all playing. Play. Play. <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> we're gonna have seven. Like no, it's gonna be like about five of us playing maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be the five of us, and you can have your well, you can have one, well, maybe, yeah, a couple less characters. So you have a character to deal with. I could have survived with all three, though. That's the point. Mm -hmm. Every single we, we don't, time we don't know I that. die, we don't no, know that. Yeah, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do. Don't know that. If Ethan chose to go in the freezer, we would have lived. He had to. He would have had to do some type of breath thing, and then would have walked away, and we would have lived. Mm -hmm. If if it came down to uh, if he didn't allow Laura to shoot me, Nick would have survived. And if Laura, uh, if he had shot the werewolf and lived, he could have gotten Travis off of me and saved me as Laura. Okay, so the, the two of y'all in that room, one of them was Nick and one of them was Laura. So if, if so, regardless of whom you had shot, well, I mean, they still live, depending on the bullets. And y'all y'all bullets weren't silver bullets. So even if you had shot, they would have still been alive. Right. Yeah, that's crazy how everything unfolded though. <laughs> Bro, no, y'all, no, it's, 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 it's terrible no, because you guys lost your characters at the end of the game. Yeah. So, it's like the worst time for it to hurt. I lost them <laughs> when it was like just the beginning, so I had time to grieve. <laughs> but jeez. That is tough though. Yeah, we can replay it though. That is wild, bro. And then, Dylan just sat on the floor like, like, he just sat there. The girl by my guy's foot. 
My man was like, <laughs> he accepted his fate. Why he didn't do anything, I don't know. He could have at least done something. The only reason I didn't choose to go for the freezer because I was afraid that it was locked. I would keep you guys in there. Yeah, like, like either that, like we go in and then we can't get out, or it was locked and then the thing would see me trying to open the door and then go after me. Mm. So I could take a chance and like somehow run and I didn't know she was gonna be that reckless with it. I was thinking you guys could have run in and close, close the door on it. Mm -hmm. Like lure it in and then leave and then lock the door on it. The last time I tried to go in there from the very inception as Jacob, was it locked? I think it was, right? No, it, it opened. I just, it. I just didn't. It opened? Yeah, you opened it. No, I didn't open it. I just looked in. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I just looked in. Then you opened it. Yeah. I, didn't open, I didn't open the door. This is incredible, bro. I actually really enjoyed this. This should be the epilogue, Nora. If I'm not the Death Rewind. If I'm not the Death Rewind feature, this feature allows you three opportunities within a single play playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three wise lives me. Mm. Enable Death Rewind feature now. Ooh. You think, you think the next time we play this, we should use it? Should nah. Be. <laughs> no, because we already played it, so we know what what, what would be coming. Yeah. All right, so no, enable right. or disable death rewind feature via the accessibility uh, section at any time. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. And there's a chapter select too. Hang on. Eight hours, forty minutes. Check the um the achievements and see if do we have the epilogue. Yeah. Oh. The epilogue. So we play all the chapters. Activate 15 interrupts. Conspiracy theories collect all evidence. Find all tower cards. Keep everyone alive. <laughs> <laughs> the six percent. I could score a mask. <laughs> Kill everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there's actually people who did that. Point point seven percent. Seven D. Oh my goodness. Secret Shame, Mission of Gossip Hotel, reunite Laura and Max. Travis and Laura agreed to work together. Oh, you know, we could do that on our next run. Never miss it in a combat encounter. Never miss. Start a movie mode playthrough. No, that's just uh -huh. single player. That's it. <laughs> yeah.